What about, um, you know, the, the thing I always, this is like an interview question I ask people. <laughs> are we validating that the endpoint is encrypted? Are we validating that there are screen locks? Are we validating that the OS is patched? Are we validating that it's a supported browser? Because um, these are like, they're elsewhere in CIS, all these questions, right? So is this something that we can use um, a combination of the, the Azure AD product suite and Intune to, to enforce? Yeah, absolutely. So in Intune, there's a, a concept of something called compliance. And compliance doesn't mean like compliance to the SEC rules or the HIPAA rules. What it means is like the minimum standard that we're going to set for a device, right? And we're going to say, oh, you know, that device um, has to be either Windows 10 or Windows 11, right? If right, if we have 10 in our in our environment, if we just have 11s, we'll say, oh, you have to be an 11, right? And because the bad guys all use really old OSs. I don't know what it is, you know, if there's, you know, still in their, uh, supposedly they're not hacking from their mom's basement anymore, but they are hacking from pretty crummy machines usually. And so we see a lot of uh, stuff coming in via Windows 7 yet. And it was like, we don't have any Windows 7 machines. So Windows 7 machines are just not allowed, just period. We just, if you're on a Windows 7 machine, zero access for you. You know, you, you can keep attackers out that way, but you could also make yeah. sure that your users endpoints are secure, right? That they're not going to be taken advantage of by attackers because their machines are configured to a secure state. Um, I believe you can usually set policies like, oh, make sure they've got all their patches from last week. Make sure that their browser is at least this version, like from two weeks ago, right? Make sure their browser is no more than two weeks old. You can do things like that. Um, yep. Yeah, we can do dated browser. We can require specific browsers, right? So if you know, if we only want to support Chrome and Edge, we can say it's got to be a Chrome and Edge. Sorry, you can't get there from Safari. Um, we can, you know, there's a lot of things. So, but basically, we're going to set that minimum standard, right? You got to have your firewall enabled on your device, right? Or if we're using a particular security tool, right, that has to be there and it's got to be enabled and running, right? So it'll yeah. go through and check these things. And then we say, okay, you've met these minimum criteria. Now let's make sure you are you, right? And then that's where the multi-factor authentication kicks in. And when once you pass that, now your device has been cleared and you've been cleared. Now you've got access to data.